Hello YouTube, I'm adding this at the beginning of the video to tell you about what Brimfield is about. So Brimfield is held in Springfield, Massachusetts, three times a year, May, July, August, no, September. And it's held from, respectfully from each week, from Tuesday all the way to Sunday of that week. But the vendors come before like, Thursday maybe, depending where they come from. They can come from like US, I mean, not US, New York, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maine, and they all converge in Springfield and they're there from those days. So you're gonna see in the video, it's like a road going straight on each side. I don't know who owns it, but according to the internet, it's the biggest antique show in America, outdoor antique show in America with thousands, I think they're saying around 2,000 vendors. For when we arrived there, it was kind of late, like around four o'clock. So if you enjoy the video and you want me to do more of these, like going to Brimfield and doing interviews, because there were someone there that I thought about after I left that we could have done an interview with, because he was mad cool and everything. But I'll put his information in through the video when I talk about it, but if you want me to keep, if you want me to do this, let me know in the comments and I will pump these videos out, hopefully next year. Thank you and enjoy the video. So here we are, we just arrived, we just parked and the vendors were already closing up. You can see that empty tent right there on my right. And we just started going through this artwork right here. I looked at this one right here, this plane over here and the dude was asking for a thousand which was a little steep because I was thinking oh, I'm going to like pay 50 for it. But then I left. So then we move on to the next vendor here and it was a black lady. So we thought, oh, man, must be um, welcoming. So we started checking it out a little bit. Saw the uh, carpet. And let's just say this place was filled with like a lot of like black face. So we saw right here. Hopefully YouTube does not strike me for this, but they had some cool stuff in here. I'm not gonna lie. It was ran by a black lady and I think it's hus her husband, but jewelry, vases. I like this one right here. This one's pretty good. There was some porcelain too, I'm not gonna lie. It looked pretty clean. So, but all in well, a very good vendor, but you're gonna see here when I show you the black face that I'm talking about. <laughs> It really snuck up on me, but this painting right here, I thought I was gonna buy it, but it was too expensive. Like, it was too expensive for it. But right here, this right here caught me off guard. <laughs> I was like, wow. I was like, should I take it and just have it? But like, I just didn't want to have it. So I'm just, that was some like, I don't even know what that was, some coon stuff. So, and then there was another one right here. It was a movie poster called Drum. And I guess it's a master and a slave exchanging wives i really don't get it so you're gonna see right here it's like right here it says like drum and then it says it scandals it shocks it whips it bleeds it lusts it out mendingo mendingo <laughs> the circus but all in all this was an all cool vendor there's really really not much to see but again this was us like at four o'clock we just arrived and we we're just trying to see what each vendor had if we had came earlier so would have been able to figure it out but we kept on moving went on to the next place so the food was already closed down everything was closed down nothing much really to see here but basically we're going back to where we started this is where we entered so the cars passing us are the ones that's where we came from and we were gonna go back because we couldn't find parking over there so all in all I, I wanted to show you guys how it looked so basically you have vendors on each side and then you go deep in each side like these are like the people you see on the street but you can go all the way in the back and you would see it all in all good experience so we saw something over here on the street and we went over but 
it ended up being nothing. So we came back on this other screen and then there was these cowboy boots, but they ended up being women, which was bad. But the thing is, guess how much this was? Guess just how much this was. I get this is vintage, but I didn't think I even found a boot less than 350. I don't think I did because that red boot that I just grabbed, that was a recent 500. Expensive as heck but they were good look at this look at the stitch work the craftsman that did this mwah, you did a good work but i'm not gonna pay 350 for this bro i'm sorry i'm too broke to be doing this but yeah all in all good shop i think it was all western airwear right here we didn't really check out much because they were so closing down but all of this was women's and kids i guess if you really want to give a kid this shoes but i feel like that fashion would be wasted on a kid but back to whatever so Again, we came outside the vendors and it was just really not much. The best vendors were already gone. That's all I could tell you. The best vendors were already gone. And yeah, back on the road we go. Here, we were approaching another vendor, right? So we had stopped here, read something. We're not gonna get it because it was free, but it was already broken. So we entered this booth and this, and I'm already recording, right? And this dude finds out, he's like, are you recording my, don't fucking record my thing. I'm like, okay, no problem. Checked through the vinyls, got um, a Billie Jean, whatever. And I went up to pay and this dude was like, oh man, I'm sorry that, uh, but, and then he would start talking about like, like who is, he was going to say he was going to vote for Trump. But when he noticed something, I think he just like started like, oh, no, no, I'm, no, no. And then he's like trying to please us, like talking about all these other stuff. I'm like, bro, we don't care who you're going to vote for, bro. Just you're a grown man. I'm a grown man. We both pay taxes. I don't care. But all in all, I got this uh, thriller by Michael Jackson and I'm proud of it. I'm proud of it. 30 bucks in Boston would have been like 50. Here I stopped by to see if they actually had some African art, but I was wrong. So we went in here and there was like more vinyls, but there was no hip hop or like Jay-Z or Kanye or anything else. So we just left. So we're just walking around, just admiring basically the vendors and everything in here. But it seems all the good stuff was gone and everyone was packing up. Here we encountered a uh, fashion tent, but almost all the clothes here, if not, this one was blocked off. This part was blocked off right here with the jean jacket. This was just basically all women clothes, so we just kept on moving. And then I arrived at a vendor that had military shirts, jackets, and coats. For the longest, I've been trying to cop this. And I did cop like three shirts and something else that I'll show you guys later. But absolutely best vendor we met so far. Second best, actually. And right here, I'm trying it on. Here, it looks tight, but it's because I have a sh second shirt on. So I'm not going to. But I did try it back home, and it was actually pretty good. He offered me a deal. I think he was like selling it for 20 and that was good now for three shirts i was able to get 50 then i moved on to like these other vendors who were actually pretty cool too so i'm gonna put their information up here but 
basically they live in Connecticut and we're planning to go down there very soon. That's the information right here. Go check him out. Pretty cool guy. He let us, um, he let me try out the clothes, although I was in like sure if this was my size. I was able to cop like a shirt that I think is gonna pop up on here. It's the like, I think like a Saudi print shirt and then a vintage Carhartt cargo pants, which are actually sick. The stitching was pretty good, but they had a cool booth here. They, him and his buddy like had like a whole compound basically. But yeah, go check him out. I highly recommend it. This is the show right here. I thought it was absolutely cool. So I copped that. The pants, I don't think I showed them. This was the one other thing that I copped from the military store and the dude throw it in for the free skis. I definitely need to get a VTS for this. All in all, that was the last things we kind of copped because it was really, really shutting down. But hope you enjoyed. Here's what my friend copped. He copped a band tee. I think he got a good price on this. Um, if you ask me, it looks like easy number three. Um, I don't know when he would wear this, but okay. And then Kendrick Lamar, I forgot what this album is called, and my Michael Jackson thriller, which I'm really proud of. Just to close out this video, I just wanted to show you how far this antique show reaches and how big it is. Hope you enjoy. What are you doing here? Did you not see? This is the end. Oh, you wanna see my pickups? Well, say no more. Let's start off right with these uh, vintage 1980 Carhartt right here. I've been starting to collect Carhartt. I think I'm in my Carhartt phase. I want basic, simple and everything. So might as well get this. Very stitched, everything. I just, amazing. You saw the Kuwait shirt, I don't have to pull it out. Um, this shirt right here, it's a Dickies. I actually got a good price for both of them. I got 50 and 50 for all these shirts. Pretty good, huh? Pretty good, huh? 
expect fits and things i think this is my favorite this is my favorite i'm gonna wash them i'm gonna wash these shirts by hand and never wash them again so i think i'm also gonna make sure i put undershirts but i want to wear this so bad so i can't wait but yeah that's it and comment down do you want to see more of a massachusetts springfield next year's show should i go to all three of them and do you want to see more of Boston fashion, I guess? I mean, we don't have really a fashion scene, but you got to work with what you got. I do have some videos planned. I could do like um, a thrift store tour, something like that. I've been thinking about that for like the longest. I may experiment this weekend if possible, but let me know. Please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. It helps me out. It helps me to understand that you guys want these. Comment down. And if you made it all the way to the end, put a gold star for yourself and I will know and I'll comment on your comment. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Peace.